Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Yeah, old Vinny's here. <laughs> you you like a dramatic pause? Yeah, but you were drinking. I caught you when you had a swallow in your mouth. You had to swallow it. I got it down pretty quick. You did. You Tried to fast. anyway. Pretty fast. How is everybody today? Hey, I'm oh, doing great. They can't answer back. I'm like waiting on everybody to tell me. <laughs> I, I'm doing great. We can look in the video. We can look in the comments here. Let's see. Oh, the wet Mississippi Gulf Coast. Now, okay, we're in the West Central Dixie area. What do we call this place? Alabama. Yeah, but what? She's the. She gets to call herself that cool. Well, she's on Gulf the Gulf Coast, Coast and we're kind of in Central Alabama. Central Alabama. That's where Not we are. Really Gulf Coast. Hello, everyone. Oh, right there. They're answering me. Good. Very good. <laughs> Fun tabulous. Miss Joan is fantabulous. Miss Joan is like me. Okay, guys. How many of you heard the word I made up the other day in a video? I totally, you don't even know. You always make up words. But I didn't mean to. I was trying to say the word dissect, and I said desect. I think I was mixing the words this, I don't even know. It was hilarious. And Jordan edited that video and did not even catch it. I'm like, I just made up a word. He's like, you did? I'm like, yeah, listen. That's supposed to be dissect. Look at my hands. Well, hello, Christina from... Clearwater, Florida. I have a my, very good friend that lives in Clearwater, Florida. Look at my nasty hands. Are y'all surprised how nasty my hands are? I normally don't do this because I'm not big on messy crafting, but I'm really enjoying this. So You've been a crafting today. I have a little bit. My first plan failed. That's okay. You punt. That's what you do. We talked about this before. Then we punt. I have to show y'all this. Do you see kind of the little glisten and the shimmer on that dude right there? This is done um, kind of cool. This is actually... A, um, it's inspiration from a, let me stop. Let me just let my brain catch up. This is inspiration from, um, across the mile stuff. We got some ornaments last year from a subscriber and it's been too long for me to remember her name. I'm so sorry, but you'll see her ornaments on our Christmas tree, on our subscriber tree. And this morning I was looking and I went, you know what? I always wanted to do this last year and I didn't. And we have this three pack of these little wood Christmas trees. They're, they're not really little. This is the big one. Um, and there's a medium one. I'll show you this way because I've been working on it. But there's a medium one like that. And so I thought it would be cool to try this on this ornament. So if you guys have been asking, and a lot of you have been asking about these ornaments, this is my first idea for it. And you're going to love how easy this is. Matter of fact, your children are going to love it because this is one of those crafts. Let me say this about kids and crafting. Kids like to craft no matter what. But they like when they can have good results as well. And this is one of those crafts where they can craft with you and get a really good result and feel really good about what they've done. Because sometimes kids are very cr critical on themselves because we, we teach them to be that way. Let's be honest. We teach kids to be critical, right? I mean, we do because we're, we're like, uh, we, we, they hear, not that we teach them in a way that we're saying you should be critical. They hear us being critical to ourselves. And so they'll go, oh, well, it's not as good as someone else would do it. But this is a craft that kids can do really cool. Okay. Okay, we have a super chat. Oh, thank you. Ready? From Melinda. Ah, thank you very much, Melinda. We appreciate it very much. So, let's talk about this. Sharpie markers. Now, your good markers work too, but I don't suggest using your good markers. I suggest using either Sharpies or I suggest using the really inexpensive Dollar Tree markers. Now, here's the thing. Why am I using markers and not paint? Some of you guys may not agree with this, and that's okay. You do you, okay? But I was noticing on the ornaments that were sent to us that the inside was just really smooth and pretty, and it didn't look like it had any paint lines or anything in it. And I thought, I wonder how she got such a smooth, pretty look. And then I just started thinking, how could I do that? Well, I love to play with... Um, projects like this, wooden projects especially, because wood you can get all kinds of different kind of looks from. If you color wood with a marker, have any of you guys ever done that? You ever colored wood with a marker? You get an incredible result. Let me show you what I mean. You get this gorgeous, rich, thick, black color with no bumps or ridges from paint, and it dries instantly. And it almost looks like stain. Now here's the thing, you can totally use stain, but I don't wanna use stain. <laughs> I'm not a stain fan, okay? Well, yeah, but with stain, you have to wait for it to dry. And you do. it's very time consuming. And I don't like it. I don't like, um, what I'm wanting to do is make the color become kind of one with the wood itself. And I found that using the Sharpie, using the black ink from the Sharpie does that. And it's going to look kind of bad at first because as the Sharpie's drying, it smooths out. So even if it looks kind of bad right now. And so you just go through here. 
and you just color. And I'm not even going with the grain. Like some people might be like, ah, I got to go with the grain. Don't worry about it. You don't. You don't have to go with the grain. You can go against it. Go against the grain, y'all. All we want to do is get this nice and colored in black. Now, here's mm, that's what... That's a good idea. What's that? Now, Oka said you could use shoe polish. You could use shoe polish. Again, I just want... I basically want to turn the wood black without putting any product... Without sitting a product on top. Because we're going to be heat embossing, by the way. This is heat embossing on there. And there's just something about that smooth black wood with the heat embossing that just looks really like store-bought. And that's why I'm saying, what child could not do this? Look, even if your kids color in a circle, like it's not going to matter. And these ornaments are so cool because they have this lip on them. So that's why I'm saying this is such a good kid-friendly project where they can get incredible results um, without too much work. I'm not going to finish coloring the inside of this. I've got one ahead of the game for you, but I do want to show you this. Okay. Um, oh, because why am I painting this poor tree black? Because I love, listen, Black decorations are gorgeous. They're very elegant. Um, I should bring those ornaments in. Um, if somebody from the staff is listening, if y'all want to go get one of those ornaments, that's my inspiration. They were the ones that were sent to us last where, last year where she did them. They were black and kind of a tan color. All right, then on the edges, here's what I did. I just colored the edges with my Sharpie. And if it didn't do perfect, I didn't stress about it because I'm kind of going to distress it. I'm not coloring this edge black. I want to point that out. If you're doing this at home with me, okay, I'm not doing this edge black. All right, so I'm just doing this number. I'm going to color just a little bit, and then I'm going to show you the one I've already, because we're doing a live show. This takes a minute, okay? This is not super fast, but if you use your marker to your advantage, get it into those little areas, and I mean, I just did it like this till I got it all colored like I wanted it. So I colored this edge, and I colored this flat section in here. Love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, then let me show you what we get. So I colored the inside, and I colored the edge. All the way around. And you see how I've got some white spots showing? I'm not stressing about that right now because I want to go through and do the other steps and then I'll come back and touch up. See? Because we just ain't going to stress about it. Well, the thing about it is, a lot of that may go away. We'll come back and touch it when we need to. Okay? Now then, this, <laughs> you guys know I have my powder tool. Let me get it. So I have this powder tool. I love this powder tool. However... That's the Inky dinky do <laughs> that you always. I what like is to this say called? That. It's inka dinky. Inka no, 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 dinky no. I like the way I inky say it dinky. better. Inky dinky do. So this is your is the powder tool. I don't like to use the powder tool for this. Okay, I have this guy and I like to use it. I'll show you why. Sophia. Yep. Thank you. Okay, check this out. This was my inspiration. These were sent to us last year, and she. I know what she did. I'm looking at it. These are chalkboard. That's the difference. These are chalkboard. So it just. There's no paint streaks on there, and it lets her embossing. These are embossed. These are stamped and embossed. How gorgeous are they, right? So that's my inspiration. I just wanted to show you that. that so that's why I was doing them black. Okay, what I love about this guy for this project, if you have this one, if you don't, you can use your other one, but it might pick up some of the color. You know, it might kind of stain your powder tool, but that's not a big deal. And you can also do this with just taking some cornstarch and just rubbing on it or whatever. Using a paintbrush and some cornstarch would work if you don't have one of these. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint this on, and I don't even care if it mats it out because this is beautiful when it's kind of a matte finish. So, I say I'm painting this on. I'm brushing this powder tool on. I also love the smell of this powder. Smell it. <laughs> it smells good, doesn't it? It does smell I good. I love the it smell of like this powder. It smells like what they used to put on me when I was at the barber shop. Oh, it does smell like that. That's, um, I used to use that when I was a barber. It's in the green bottle and you put yep, it in the, the brush. Green bottle. It does smell like that. How smart. Okay, and I'm going to be generous with it. I want to make sure I get this guy good and matte finished and also static free and oil free. <sighs> Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. It almost looks like a chalkboard and we used a Sharpie marker. Okay. I told you guys that on this one, I used the color Sandcastle. I had not played with Sandcastle yet and I didn't really know that what the results would be like, but it almost is like, what wood would you say that is? Almost a mix between a bronze and a gold, would you say? Now, I don't know what it looks like on paper because I hadn't done it on white paper. I just know what it looks like on this wood, but it's not a metallic -y gold. It's kind of a old world gold, isn't it? That's a good way An to describe it. old world it. gold, maybe. Um, I love this. So this is the Brutus Monroe Sandcastle. That's the one I use there. But I thought I would see what it looks like in white. Why not? Let's try it. Okay. Boy, you really are stepping out. You tried it in one color and now you're stepping out into another. Can I tell you something? 
I just feel like playing. There's some okay. So is the, are you going to say it's just wood? It's just wood. <laughs> There's some days you wake up when you're. All right, let me say this to you guys. I'm so. This is November first. I am so grateful. I, this is my month of gratitude. I'm going to be very focused on gratitude. And the first thing I want to say is, I cannot believe I get to do this for a living. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I woke up this morning and got to come to work and do a live crafting show with all my friends. <laughs> and I'm very, very fortunate. And so this morning I had a plan in mind. I had something that came to me in a dream and I thought it was going to work and it hasn't worked yet and it probably will work later. I need more time to work on it. And so then I'm like, so what would I do today? Should I should I not have a show because my plan didn't work? And I was like, no, I get to no. do this. So no. I'm going to play. So I got my hands dirty and we'll see what happens. I'm very fortunate and I love you guys. I'm grateful I get to do this. And remember guys, some of you have commented you don't really like the black. Well, that's the benefit of this. We're just showing you the <laughs> technique on how to do it. You can make your tree whatever color do you want Do pink, do green, do purple. So, But you know. I think what's happening happening to you. I want you to hear something real quick. You're not liking the black because you're seeing the process. But if you walked into Hobby Lobby and there was a chalkboard ornament, it wouldn't turn you off. That's what black is. You know, you got to remember you're seeing this from, you're seeing the process. Let it finish before you say you don't like it. Then we'll talk about it. If you don't like it, then we'll go from there. We'll figure it out. But I mean, you can use whatever color Sharpie you want. I just wanted to use black because I'm a big fan of using black. Okay. Do you, do you own any black clothes? <laughs> oh yeah, you do. <laughs> Um, you're so funny. All right, here's the deal. <laughs> yeah, that is a good one. I call this, okay, wait a minute. I just, Rhonda, that's amazing. Rhonda, didn't you just, weren't you just cancer free not long ago? I'm sorry, I got distracted. I saw that. I thought, I, I'm pretty sure you had a cancer free diagnosis a few years ago. Anyway, I think so. Tell me that. I just got, I got distracted by that. All right, check this out. I call these my workhorse inks. Did you know that? Well, these are my inks when I need to get down and dirty. These little ink cubes, when I want to distress, when I want to drag, when I want to do like Clubman's powder, that's what it's called. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Um, when I want to do mixed media and get dirty, this is it. Okay. So for my first little tree, for this guy, I use the color. Let me find it. I use the color da, 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 Walnut Stain. I thought, how cool, walnut stain, right? That makes sense, like like um, wood stain. But I don't want to do it that dark this time because I'm going to do the white. So I'm going to do, I might do vintage photo. I could even do smoke. But, and I could do a color color, but I don't want to do color because I have an idea. I'm going to see what frayed burl, no, I'm going to see what tea dyed looks like too. And the other cool thing you can remember is this. If you go lighter and don't like it, you can go darker over top of it. Um, and I'm going to look at brush corduroy. And it don't work the other way. Yeah, just don't go the other way. Because once you go dark, if you make it dark, you can't. <laughs> Guys, do you see this? This is a stamp that I lost at some point in time. I kept thinking, what is this dot on here? There's my two word. I bet I've been looking for this thing for something. That's the word two. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know I'm not the only one, so that's a funny one. Okay, then let's do this. So what I did when I was trying to decide my color of my ink here, okay, I went to the back and did a little test. You can, oh, by the way, I also dragged the back of this. I'll show you that too. We're going to do it. So I went to the back and did a little test. So let's start with the lightest color and let's just do a little test back here and just see what we get. Oh, it's kind of pretty. Look, it's kind of um, auburn -y almost. I like that. Let's look at another one. Because remember, I can put like four or five colors back here. It won't matter. That's a little green, maybe. A little green. Let's do another one. Oh, I kind of like this one. This kind of a happy medium. So let's just go ahead and, yeah, I like this color. Let me show you. This one is Vintage Photo. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> vintage Photo gets me every time. It's a wiener. That's why I like it. It's always a wiener. I love a Vintage Photo. I use it for just about everything. Look how pretty this is on the back. All I'm doing is dragging this ink on here, just like I'm, just like I was staining it, but it's ink and it'll dry. Now, it does take a little longer to dry on these trees. But let me show you something else. Maybe I do want to mix my colors. Why not, right? Y'all know how I feel about ink dragging. The more colors, the better. I'm serious. I think it makes things so much prettier when you do multiple colors. Look at that. Purdy, purdy. All right, so we'll let the back be that. It is much darker in person, though. Oh, is it really? Look I didn't look at the screen. At let me look. Oh, it is much darker in person, but it's beautiful. So I decided with Vintage Photo. So here's what I'm going to do. 
here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to come on the top because this, remember, this is a raised, there's a lip right here. Can you see that lip? There's a little lip. Uh, let me show you on this one. Might show better. Can you see the different colors of the wood? Yeah, yeah you can see the lip right there, okay? So I'm going to come on top and I'm going to drag this ink on top. Look how pretty. Wow. I love the vintage photo with the black. Wow. That's really pretty. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Love it. It is still much lighter looking on the screen. That's interesting. It's all the lights in here. I got a little bit of strain. Get my strain off. That is S-T-R-A-N-G, strain. For those of you not from the South. That's right. A string is a piece of fabric and a very small rope. <laughs> <laughs> small rope. <laughs> yeah. And here's what's funny. My fingers are staying from the um, Sharpie because I went and washed the, the ink off earlier, but I don't care. Some days it's fun. And guess what? I don't even care if people see my hands dirty because guess what? I'll be. It's a good transition for me to go, hey, go check out my YouTube channel, right? It's advertisement. That's right. All right, so there's that. I'm going to hit this one more time just because I've been putting my fingers all over it. So I'm going to hit it one more time with this. And now I'm going to show you the most fun part. The most fun part. Oh, I didn't get a piece of notebook paper. I meant to. Is there a notebook in here? You see a notebook? If not, I can just use paper. I don't. Okay, the most fun part. I went into my stamps. Surprise, surprise. My stamp set. This is one of my favorites. This one is called Snowed Out About It. And I love this one. It says, no doubt about it. And then it says, nothing is impossible with God. God will work it out. Jesus saves. God is able. God answers prayers. God is good. Jesus never fails. God's got this. God's in control. God will provide. God is with you. God loves you. Love this set, right? So I decided that it would be super cool if I could put the snowman up in here. Now, it, remember, the size of your ornament is going to dictate what stamps you can use, but you can use all your stamps. So this one worked perfectly for this setup, all right? You'll be able to see it better whenever I emboss it. But this is the snowman right here. This is this guy. with his. I call him my worshiping snowman. Him and this one, they both have their hands up to the Lord. So there's my snowman. And then here underneath, it fits perfect to have snowed out about it and God loves you. So we're going to see how this works. So let me get a piece of paper real quick because I'm going to need it for my embossing. I'll just use this piece here, which is a piece of... Um, yeah, we're in a tornado watch. They said all day today or something like that, didn't they? All right, I was reading comments. Sorry, I shouldn't do that. Versamark ink, and I'm going to ink this up really, really, really good. I'm going to get one shot at this, okay? Uh-oh, Courtney doesn't know what I mean. What did I say that I said, do you know what I mean? And I don't know. I always say, do you know what I mean? <laughs> do you know what I mean? What did I say? Ask the question because now I, for, I don't know. See how much time I'm spending on this? Because I don't want to I don't want to miss anything. And I get one shot, really, one shot. Okay. All right. So here's this, and then I'm gonna put this in here like so, and I'm gonna stamp it down. And the cool thing is, these little um, trees that have that little lip, these stamps fit just right. Our um, the stamp gives just enough cushion so you can get it in there really good. And I can even use these larger um, acrylic blocks. All right, I'm taking my time and I'm pressing everywhere because I created this kind of larger stamp and I want it to get on there, you know, by adding. Oh, it's really on there. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. <gasps> Do you see wow. it? Do you see it? Now, Oka said that they had bad weather on the coast that blew out the front window of Walmart. Dang. Can y'all see it? Oh, I love it. All right, white. And I do this kind of quick serious. because I don't know how long this will last on the wood. But do you see why this is a project kids can do? So far, it looks amazing, and all we've done has been kind of messy, right? And then here, what we're going to do, look at that. Look at that. So pretty. Now, notice this stuck to my ink. Let your distress ink dry first. I'm going to brush that off. It's not a big deal. And then I'm going to go off screen and blow on this. That's how I get excess off. The microphone is picking you up, blowing. I'm so well. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, let me get a paintbrush, and with my paintbrush, I'm just going to blow this off. I mean, blow this off, not this off. Now, I'm not going to stress too much about it because I'm going to show you something else that I noticed that my friend that sent these into me does, and I think it's really cool, and it helps if you have mistakes. This is why this is one of those projects kids can really wrap wrap their hands around. We have someone watching from the Philippines today. Well, hello. That's awesome. 
I'm going to take my time because I want this to turn out really cute. And you guys like to see how long we spend on things, right? You're always telling me to let you know that. That's going to be really cute when it's heated up. All right. So. Now, somebody did ask a while ago, do you have to put a protective coat uh, on that to get it to stay? Or? No. Because it's wood. It's going to sink right in. You just got to let it dry. All right. This is the fun part. Are y'all ready for this? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Boom. We're going to heat up our um, heat tool. I'm going to put the heat tool under uh, under the table to heat it up. How did this happen? You know, I'm the messiest crafter. I have stickers everywhere. Okay, I'm going to let this heat up down here. I want my heat my heat gun always, with paper or any other project, I want my heat gun to heat up really good before I go to using it because I want it to melt fast. Are you setting anything on fire under the table, by the way? No, there's okay. nothing under there. Just want to make sure. All right, here we go. There are two watching from the Philippines. Oh, thank you, guys. Carol asked, is Versamark only used for embossing? Mm, no, you can also... It's really a watermark ink. The microphone's still picking you up good. You I'm sorry. Call it. I'm not just saying. Y'all, that is so cute. Okay, now here's the thing, and I was hoping this would happen, but I didn't want to say it because I wasn't sure if it was going to happen. So I didn't want a stark white, but I don't have an embossing. See, I thought Sandcastle would be kind of taupe, but it wasn't. It was kind of gold, and I had this white, but I didn't have a cream. Well, when I melted this, it went a little less stark white, and doesn't it look better? Because that stark white looked too clean next to all my distress colors. To me, it on camera, it looks, looks white. It almost looks silver. It could almost look that. On camera, it, look, it just looks white. Mm -hmm. But in person, it's got this kind of knocked back, and I love that. I love that look. So you might want to play around and see how your how your embossings do too against the um against the sharpie. I love this. It looks like a it looks like I made a chalkboard ornament, right? It's so cute. Um, it seems like there were, oh, and there was something else I wanted to show y'all. Okay, so we're going to do this too. So if you have one of these guys, if you have one of these little embossing, this is a Ranger emboss it pen. You don't have to use this. You can use like just snowflakes or something from your stamp set. But I want to show you if you have this embossing pen, and this is how kids just would love this because they can't mess it up. Just come through and make some dots with your embossing pen like so. I tried doing this with just um, tipping some embossing powder on top. Um, without any kind of like ink or anything to hold it down because I thought it would kind of stick with static, but it didn't stick at all. So I went back with my embossing pen and I made a bazillion dots. How many is a bill? Oh, I don't want to do lines there. Okay. How many is a bazillion? This it's many. a lot. This many. And remember, it's snow, so just do it any old way you want to do it. And then, da, 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 plenty of it. Okay. Then I'm going to, Cover it again with some embossing powders. Oh, you same know what I'm going to do? You right. know what I'm going to do? Color. Yeah, same white. Real quick, I'm going to see if I can save myself a step. No, I, well, I am. Because I'm going to come back and show y'all something else right here that I did, which was cute in my opinion. Let's see if this helps a little bit. It may or may not. And that might be dried better by now. Anyway, we'll see. Okay, let's put this on here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it didn't help great, but we're going to take care of that. Okay. Go back to my brush and brush this off where it got where I don't want it. But I'm going to come back to this raised edge in a second and show you something really cool. What's happening in the chat? Anything while I'm doing well, this? I mean, folks, just, you know, chatting up a little bit. <laughs> Me and this just blowing off of the thing. Bit. Sorry, y'all. Well, they don't mind. Do, do, do. Okay, let me move this out of the way. I'll put that back in the jar in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and heat this up so you can see it. And actually, anywhere dots stay in there, I don't care because it'll look like snow. So it'll be fine. You need to let it heat up again? No. It's already pretty hot. I've used it a lot this morning, so it should work fine. 
How, how tall is that tree? About six inches? I have to measure it. This is not the smallest from the pack. There's three in the kit. It's the biggest one, isn't it? I mean, this is not the biggest. No, this is the medium. There's one bigger, one smaller. I think that got it. Okay. So now we have snowflakes falling. Isn't that cute? So cute. All right, the last thing I want to do. I'm going to come back through here, and I'm going to really powder this distressed edge up. The reason is I want to show you something that I think looked really cool. I did it on the other one, too. I'm just going to stamp, stamp, stamp today. I love to use my stamps for ornaments. I think it, they, you know, we collect them all year long. Why not use them for Christmas ornaments, right? All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, well, I'm going to show you. Should I do exactly what I did? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That might really, that might freak some folks out. I'm not going to do that one. I'll do this. Now, will you measure that tree for me? Yes, I will. I'll put a ruler on it. It is from tip to bottom, six inches. The largest six one. Inches. Six inch ribbon curls. The largest one from tip to tail is seven and three eighths. And the smallest one, whoop, microphone is four and five eighths. All right, so the next thing I did, this I'm taking is this, um, the snowflakes from the stamp set. Let me show you this little pile of snowflakes up here. Ooh, that light is bright. This little pile of snowflakes. What I did on the other one, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie about this. I want y'all to know this, okay? What I did on this one, do you see I have the, around the edges, you can see kind of some embossing around there. I took this stamp while it was still on my block. I dipped it in Versamark and I just went around here like this because I just wanted some gold. So it's really kind of words, but not really words. So that's why I was like, I'm not going to show you all that way because I don't want anybody to think that that's kind of messy, but that's what I did. All right, ink these up. And then what I'm going to do is just come around on the edges. And I really don't care if they end up looking like snowflakes. I'm really just wanting it to be places for it to grab. And this I'm actually doing on the stained part. Not on the chalkboard part. It might look like I'm going on the chalkboard, but I'm going around the stained edge there. And what are we doing? Going back to the powder. Back to the embossing powder. Pour it. Now we want to go on that edge. And don't worry, because what you're going to do with this powder is put it right back in your jar. So you might feel like you're wasting it, but you're not. You're going to use very little of it. Oh, that string. Me and that string. All right, I got to blow this off. <laughs> I'm going to pass out. No, I'm kidding. Look at that. That is so cute. I might have overdone it with the snowflakes. You need to put the powder back in there before you get too carried away. I was just going to move it off to the side, but I'll do it. Bump. Oops, I don't want to get that piece in. I got some straying in there. Let's get the straying out. Have I ever told y'all that embossing is just like glittering to me? I don't like it. It makes a mess. It goes everywhere. It's not my fave. I'm sure I've mentioned that. <sighs> All right. Cleaning it off on the side a little bit because I got a little powder on the side. This is messy crafting, but I, you know, I know that you guys like it. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys like messy crafting, even if I don't. All right. Let's heat those edges up. This would have been cute, too, if you did the words like I did on the first one because it's kind of cute just to see the words all around the edge. I say just play and go crazy with it. It's a Christmas tree ornament, right? It's going to look good. And all the extra dots in the inside... They're cool. 
They look good. I love it. I love how that turned out. <laughs> There's something happening outside our building. I don't know what that is either. Um, I love how that turned out. I probably would have done this with words instead of snowflakes since I already had snowflakes in there. But other than that, I love it. Look at this right here. There's the one done in the gold. This one is more kind of rustic. And then we still have this one from that three pack that I still have to do. I'm not going to do it on camera today because we're already at 1230. But how cool is that, right? I love it. I think it's a really neat way to get a cool look and use what you've got. So basically, you pick up some of these little Christmas trees, which I think are so cute, and then you just ink and stamp them. Works out perfect. You get nasty fingers, too. All right. Any questions before we go into the crafter after show? Um, well, I mean, not really. I mean, there was just some comments and stuff, but... Um... I didn't really see any. Huge oh, the snow mark, the snow rider would be really cute on this. I'm gonna look at comments too a little bit. Um, what was the effect that we love? Love, 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 so cute. People like it. See, that's the thing. I know coloring it black kind of seems a little scary at first, but you gotta think about it. What color is a chalkboard, or what color is, you know, it's kind of the same thing when you're doing the chalkboard coloring. I don't that? know what that sound is. Is somebody out there? I don't know. All right, so there's that one, and there's that one. So now, let's head into the Crafter After Show. Uh, Y'all better grab... I don't think we're ordering any more of these for the year, are we? No, ma'am. I think it's getting a little late for us to order these again, so y'all might want to go ahead and grab these up. I don't know the size of the scallop die. I think Tamitha posted that. I think she looked it up. Um, I don't even have it near me right here. Hmm, where's one of those cards even? Um... Do I have, oh look, it's right here. Let's measure. It was the second to the last, the second to the biggest in the Gina Marie. Let's see, three inches. That's how big that scallop was. I thought Tamitha posted that. How does the Snow Rider work? It depends on which one you have. You can have the Snow. Well, you have the Snow Rider and then the Snow Marker, which is probably here but hidden from me right now, isn't it? Do you see it? Snow Rider. Um, I don't want to do that is like a puddle of snow. You can get like dimensional snow with the Snow Rider. That's what this one is. So, I don't know if you can make your own embossing powder. Never try, but I bet there's a video about it. But I don't know. Um, About this big. There we go. Who, what other questions we got? Yes, alcohol will take, by the way, alcohol will take Sharpie ink off. Um, You know why that works? Because you need to think about this. It's just like when you're stamping. Alcohol moves alcohol. Water moves water. You know, you got to think like that. You got to think just like your inks. Um, so you talked about the surprise bags? No. Well, Hold Connie on. Woods wants to know when they go on well, sale. Well, we, we ask if y'all want them. I haven't told y'all details yet. Okay. This is the ink, the powder I use today. This is the um, Glacier White from Nuvo. This is the fine detail. We also have it in not fine detail. The fine detail is good for like thin line stamps. And then I also use the Sandcastle. I'm just going back and looking at questions so I can answer them. Um, the goodie bags are coming. But don't talk to my staff about it because right now it's frustrating. <laughs> it's been quite frustrating. Here's the thing. We are trying to give you the best value on products we carry at prices we've never sold them at before in this goodie bag. And we're trying to do more than we normally do. Okay? Um, because in the past, they sell out so fast not everybody can get them. So we're really trying to pack a bunch of goodie bags. But I do want to clarify that we are using products that we have carried in our store over the past few years. Mm -hmm. um, so we just have a lot of stuff in the works on these goodie bags. And I don't know when I'm ready to tell you all the stuff that I got going on that. I don't know when I'm ready. I don't know. You can talk about it. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Here's the thing about it. I'm really proud of the bags because look, from for where we're at right now, they are $100. I'll just tell you because I want you to know this. They are $100 goodie bags. They're $100 retail value for $49.95. We already know that. That's our goal. We know that. We were looking at doing like, I should talk about this in the Crafter After Show. Because if people don't care about this stuff. Let's go okay. to the Crafter After Show because sometimes people don't care about this and it makes my videos real long. So let's head to Crafter After Show. I've got some stuff to show you. i got one new product, I think, to show you. And then we'll talk about um, goodie bags. Okay? So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll click off. So if you want to start this from the beginning, you can watch it. Thanks for being here. If you want to go to the Crafter After Show, let me give Tamitha one second to put the Crafter After Show link in for us.
or whoever can do it. I don't know that Tamith is where she can. I saw her in here chatting, but I don't know if she can put the link in. Um, what does that say? Let's get V Christopher to show his EP production. What does that mean? There's the link. There we go. Thank you very, very much. And I will see you guys in the Crafter After Show in just a second. Talk to you soon. Bye, Bye. guys.